Okay, so you are either thinking about getting 5G home internet or perhaps you already have it and you're having problems, but you're trying to figure out if your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi devices will work on 5G home internet. And so I have Verizon home internet here, I have T-Mobile here, I also have AT&T internet air, and I can tell you that in general, the answer is yes, your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi devices will work, but there is a catch in that you might have to change some settings. So I'm gonna show you what those are here in a second. Now, I cover a lot of uh, home internet, Wi-Fi, smart home, that kind of stuff on my channel. I am Nate, and this is the Nate or Tater channel. I do encourage you to hit that like button down below. If you enjoy this video, and consider subscribing to see more stuff. It really does help the channel, so thank you. So to get into it, this applies to all of these services. So like I said, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, or even if you have something like Comcast Cable, Xfinity Cable, this same type of theory works. And that's the first comment I want to say is 5G home internet often gets confused with 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. They are two separate things. The 5G refers to cellular technology, the fifth generation. 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi actually refers to the frequency that the Wi-Fi covers it. And now a lot of devices um, are either 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi or they're 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, things like computers uh, likely have both, newer cell phones will have both options, but if you have something like a printer or a lot of smart TVs or smart um, you know, um, locks or lights, that kind of stuff, they most likely only have 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and that's perfectly fine. It's a, um, it's a lower frequency which means it travels further throughout your house so it gets better coverage, but it is slower than 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. There's actually 6 gigahertz out there now as well. But um, the point is, a lot of these newer routers, these modems, they project both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but a common thing they do is they combine the signal under one name. So your Wi-Fi name, which is also referred to as SSID, it might be Nate's home, right? And that will include a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but what I found is a lot of the older devices are more simple devices like a you know a smart um, lock or something like that can't actually connect correctly when the uh, 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz names are combined as one they do a lot better if you were to say nate's home 2.4 and nate's home 5 uh, as two separate ssids and then you tell the 2.4 gigahertz devices to just connect directly to the 2.4 gigahertz um, band that's out there there are a couple other settings that sometimes uh, matter as well, and that is the security protocol. So there's different levels of security for the encryption for the Wi-Fi, and that's you know to help prevent people, unauthorized people, from connecting to your Wi-Fi network. So you have a password. Well, the way that password is is encrypted, um, there are different types. And WPA is one of them. WPA2, WPA3 is another one. And so a lot of the devices don't support WPA3 just yet. And some of these devices default to um, trying to do WPA3 and you want to make sure that it supports WPA2 or perhaps even WPA1 you know, one, um, without a number at the end of it um, for it to connect. So I'll th throw up a couple screenshots of the Verizon um, settings where uh, you want to have um, just one of the um, bands selected, either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. And then you want to have another name for the um, you know other one. So 2.4 gigahertz would have a certain name for my personal house. I actually have the 2.4 gigahertz is just the name, and then for my 5 gigahertz version, I have my standard name, and then I have like an underscore 5 gigahertz on the end of it. That's how I do it. But you can do it however you want, and then that's how you connect to it. If you have any questions, put them down below. If you have a specific router that I don't know how to get these settings, you can ask me about that. Um, if you want to know more about these 5G home internets, I go through all of the settings inside there as well. Uh, I have specific um, videos for each of these devices uh, out there, so you can be sure to check that out. For the T-Mobile 5G home internet, they actually have an app that you can use, a T-Mobile official app, and there's also a third-party app that's been created. I'll put a link to that down in the video description as well. And it gives you easier access to them. The other little hint I'll give you, because if you're, you're still watching here, is if you just got one of these devices and you don't want to, um, you know, at the bottom of them, they have their own uh, Wi-Fi name and SSID, I encourage you do not 
go through all your devices and change the Wi-Fi connection. All you have to do is when you set up your new modem or router, change its SSID to whatever you had before. So even if you had a Comcast modem or whatever and you used the default um, SSID and password that they had, keep that and put it into this device and now all your devices, your TVs, your laptops, your tablets, they'll automatically connect to this new one. They don't even know that it's a, it's a new router really. So that's a little tip. Thanks for staying till the end. Uh, take care and be sure to tune in in the future.